next uh, let's place our drive back in the V so connect the these two cables the power cable and the data cable now make sure you tuck this um, under here so this goes, this gets tucked in there so it should go all the way and then just align the four align it with these four holes Um, let's put back these four screws. Next, uh, before putting our top cover and other bits, uh, let's just do a quick test to see everything's functioning. Alright, I've connected the V and turned it on just to see if we have a functioning lens. I'm going to insert a disc and see if we get a red light here. Uh, if you have the red light that means we have a functioning lens and um, the drive is reading the discs successfully. Okay, simply monitor this. There you go. So we have replaced the lens module successfully. I'm just going to switch to TV just to show you that it's reading the game fine as well. See there, it's read the uh, esports game disc fine. So it's reading the game fine. Once we know everything is functional, let's put back our top and the remaining bits of the Wii. Okay, grab your top and simply align these metal bars these holes here so, uh, next um, you can grab your faceplate and place it in there make sure the cable goes in the right way Next, place all these screws. Put back the rubber pad and your plastic sticker. Next, I'm going to be placing the two black driving screws here and the two silver driving screws. Place the stickers back in its places. And place the rubber pads as well. Next, we'll be placing the two driving screws here. Put back the plastic case. Uh, simply align these uh, with these holes. Next, we'll be placing the two small screws here and one um, slightly larger than the other two. Next, uh, place your GameCube slot cover back in its place. 
clip it in and place your memory card cover all done thank you Thanks for watching our video. Please go to www.gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need for your gaming needs. Thank you.